okay today we will be discussing uh, mainly about uh, exceptions in python uh, so before going to that uh, so i think uh, all of you have created github uh, github account uh, if not please uh, do it today because from tomorrow we will be seeing uh, working on multiple uh, problem statements and solutions and we will be uploading all the problem statements whatever we have worked to the github repo uh, our uh, personal repo uh, okay so today's topic uh, let me share my screen so today we will see about the exceptions uh, uh, I meant to say so how if something is wrong right if something is wrong you are uh, doing something uh, not writing correctly the syntax or uh, in the Python so there should be some uh, kind of logic to say okay you are not doing right uh, so it should give us a warning so you're not doing right so this won't execute so this is not set of rules we have defined but you have to follow the set of rules what is already defined in the set program so that it will be easy for us to understand mainly for users to understand uh, how to write the perfect uh, program uh, going forward so now what is exception so exception is nothing but if you have written a code in Python and uh, and if you have run it but it is giving you errors so it is breaking the flow somewhere it is breaking so it is uh, not like uh, every time it will break due to some uh, normal issues syntax issues or you have not closed uh, the bracket or you haven't given the indentations uh, properly sometimes there may be a runtime errors as well like sometimes your memory is uh, uh, like uh, whatever the machine you are using the ram is uh, already used by some other process very high-end process you are using some video editing software you have uh, opened in your machine and you are uh, running the same uh, spider id also then if you are running the large programs it will actually result into some kind of uh, uh, memory errors uh, something like that like uh, which is called as runtime errors so and then uh, maybe if your system uh, failed uh, due to some uh, processor issue or uh, RAM got failed and you can't run so normally this uh, type of external factors uh, generally don't happen in our laptops but if you are working on servers at that time uh, the hardware may fail the processor may go into idle state or there may be network issues uh, where we, we require Wi-Fi or internet to be on uh, 24 by 7 but due to some issues if internet uh, is not uh, going or uh, not coming so then uh, the external factors may cause uh, your program interruption so it is simple if something you are trying to run but if it is actually doing uh, nothing but it is throwing you errors it may depend on different different factors so what we have seen now is uh, mainly three factors why our program won't uh, execute uh, won't execute but give us the errors these are the main three factors I meant to say So oh, just uh, I'm again uh, again just I'm uh, repeating. Uh, uh, so if our program is executing, but in the middle somewhere uh, it got terminated. So the execution didn't complete, but uh, it is throwing me uh, some error. Like uh, the execution is not uh, uh, completed, but it is uh, the program got halted. Like it got stopped in the middle there may be multiple uh, uh, I meant to say multiple causes so out of them these are the uh, main three uh, broadly classified you can say errors runtime errors external factors so we will see one by one like uh, going for it so but uh, if uh, but sometimes uh, we can't handle the external factors 
when we as if hardware got failed we can't handle it so it is uh, out of our control so but there are few errors where we can handle so a python has a default mechanism it will handle the errors which are already uh, it knows okay uh, this type of error comes so i need to throw a user a message so or uh, where it uh, i want to say this will be, should be here so so in uh, python there will be built in exceptions i meant to say yeah so for example uh, if i am going again just i'm opening my spider ide so i am typing print hi so here i am just removing this so it is saying unexpected uh, parsing so ide will immediately give you the error it is saying there is a syntax error but if i forcefully run it so it is giving me if you see here it is actually giving me syntax error so this is one type of uh, error what we are seeing so uh, here we haven't handled anything like uh, by default python interpreter detects okay he is not writing uh, the rules which i set so he is not closing the bracket so normally we should close the parenthesis bracket so but if we don't close this parenthesis the python interpreter detects okay he is not following the rules what i set and it will throw you okay uh, this is the syntax error you need to check your syntax so syntax is nothing but the rules which is set by uh, interpreter or uh, compiler whatever you, you call it as so in python we refer to as interpreter only but in java normally compiler does this uh, syntax errors show so if i go back again so there are multiple i meant to say type errors so similarly there are multiple built in you can check type error is nothing but if we are trying to forcefully type cast uh, last time you see it's like two list uh, something like that there is no type uh, uh, i meant to say no attribute error or name error if if i again going back uh, i am giving a equal to some 1 2 3 i am printing b so here i haven't declared b so there is no variable called b undefined name so it is it will give us the name error because this is not defined the variable name is not defined so if i run forcefully run again so it will give me name error so similarly in python the built in exceptions are there which will actually uh, throw us if something we did wrong or something uh, i meant to say something we uh, written wrong or something we forgot to declare or something it is not correct so uh, that kind of errors actually uh, will be handled by this built in exceptions so what if this doesn't handle the next uh, type of error like sometimes you will see unforecast scene exceptions i meant to say so uh, like if a network failure other uh, errors how you will be handling but uh, here if it is a syntax error the flow is terminating it's actually it's not going to any line it is terminating here itself right so but i want the flow to be continued i want the uh, some if i got the exception like if i found some issues uh, not syntax issues not uh, this issues but uh, if i found something else like in my flow uh, for example uh, if age uh, for example you are filling some form uh, i meant to say your age age should be something in integers only but uh, 
you have ent you are entering uh, i meant to say uh, alpha numeric characters or a b c d you have entered so normally uh, what it does uh, generally as of now that is handled by two ways one is like front end will handle only to allow integer types otherwise in the back end also it will handle to allow only uh, integer types by type casting and uh, uh, saying the user uh, okay this is not a valid input you have to give the valid input so it is like we are actually doing uh, throwing user a message so you have entered invalid input so please try again something like that we should handle uh, so it's like uh, the program should not break but it should tell us the user this is not correct you have to modify like uh, filling a page you should give the numbers only there should not be any alphanumeric characters like alphabets or strings you have to enter so uh, uh, for example uh, that's the example uh, what i have taken so this is again just uh, definition how to how we handle it so instead of uh, going to this uh, i will take this so in spider uh, there is a issue with input function so i will be uh, using programs so here if you see so what we are doing okay let me take h i just try so here what uh, we are try trying to say the interpreter i want h to be inputted uh, from so enter average so it should be entered by user and it should be convert to int so if uh, we actually don't give any of the exceptions right so let, uh, let's uh, try to do this so i am not giving any exception handling here so if i run this actually what it should it it will file because of indentation again so in python indentation is very important this is again system defined uh, like exception so i have run it okay it's still having indentations print h so first i i will give 10 it will print, print and uh, the execution was uh, done so but if i give some a b c so if i run it so it is saying there is a value error it is saying what can't uh, there is no invalid literal uh, literal for uh, base 10 with abc so it is like it is unable to convert this string to integer type because our range should be integer and so it is having what uh, it is it got failed so we got error so but this statement is not executed if you see the uh, i meant to say uh, here itself uh, the code got failed once you enter the input it's unable to convert to integer type so but i want user to know about this so he entered something wrong so that he will in the next attempt he will be trying the correct so to handle that type of scenario
just remind this so what we are trying we are giving try block so what we are trying we are actually asking uh, user to give the age to input the age so but we know him uh, he might enter non integer value so what it does so how we are handling we will be handling by saying invalid input please try to enter is in the range of 0 to some 200 again so if uh, it is not time meant to say except so if uh, uh, this one like uh, this error comes so we, we will be showing to them um, so you have entered wrong input so please try to enter the age but if we entered correct input right then we should do something else so it's like Our age is age. So here I'm referring this variable age. So if I run again, enter my age. I am entering as of now A B C. So what it should do? It actually expect value error should uh, be coming and it should display this message. So user should able to know okay he entered wrong input it should be in the range of uh, 0 to 200 only so he will again try uh, try to enter that. So again I am running so I am entering now 30. So it's like every age is 30. So it, it de uh, didn't go to this expect because there is no exception occurred. There is no error occurred. But it actually goes to the final statement I meant to say whatever we are trying to execute so this is the one of the way uh, like uh, to handle exceptions uh, mainly we use try and accept uh, uh, statements in Python uh, to do this So now uh, going back, uh, so if I see here, again try and uh, accept statements or the keywords uh, I meant to say, keywords to handle. So generally th uh, there is no need of else also sometimes if you are trying something uh, just to uh, validate something, you can use only this uh, accept uh, try and accept block. So now again, uh, so what are the best practices? Okay, we know okay, uh, this is how we will be handling uh, uh, exceptions in Python. So, but what are the best practices? So, instead of uh, generally this, instead of catching uh, all the exceptions, like uh, what are the exceptions uh, without uh, defining uh, which exception it might occur, we have to be specific. So as of now, wha what we did, uh, we did tell it is a value error exception might occur so we have defined okay th this might occur so uh, uh, even if you don't give this also it still the code will uh, uh, run
so but better we define the specific exception what we are expecting so that specific exceptions how how we will get to know depending on uh, which type of code we are implementing so here i am implementing type cached exceptions i meant to say or uh, type casting we i am doing so i uh, just uh, if i go and ask type cached errors in python so some or we can ask directly bard also to say So it is saying value error in one this because. so he uh, so if you take this again so we are doing type casting we are actually uh, like uh, seeing about the type casting errors in python so if we check uh, like this you will get so in type casting maximum of the time for in we will get this uh, value error only so when you are writing code so uh, like when you are writing something or any any code so you should be very careful while handling the exceptions so so instead of giving all the exceptions uh, at a time you should be, be specific about what exception might occur so this will uh, this will actually what it will do instead of loading all the exceptions trying to do or the permutation combinations combinations like uh, internally so it will just check for that exception so it will be very lightweight program and it will run uh, easily so as of now we are not writing any major programs but uh, if you are writing a very uh, huge uh, web development program or uh, api program so this uh, this plays a very major role like you have to give the exceptions so we have to actually log the exceptions uh, going forward how to create logs we will see so generally if an exception occurs don't uh, we have to don't should not ignore the exceptions whatever it is we should raise it and uh, actually we have to handle it gracefully like uh, gracefully in the sense uh, we have handled it gracefully right uh, i meant to say here if i go here so uh, what we handled so we have handled uh, like okay this is uh, because we are saying to user okay th this is not our uh, uh, correct input so so you might reenter the uh, age again try again so we, we are not forcefully shutting down or forcefully doing any any uh, i mean to say any other uh, process uh, we are actually just uh, giving the input uh, like uh, input output message to the user so that he will be aware uh, okay uh, i uh, what i wanted is incorrect so uh, we should not be any uh, like uh, we should like invalid input so but uh, we if we didn't mention this uh, some, some might not be understanding which input he might be trying the same and same and same again and again 
so it should be more specific and we should be handle it uh, gracefully so that it won't impact the other programming uh, flow also if we like uh, age equal to and again if you do some uh, multiplications here in expect or something we try uh, that is like uh, hard coding like uh, i meant to say not handling correctly maximum of the time in exceptions we handle it very lightly either we pass it or we actually display the message to the users so any questions with the exceptions i think this is done no sir it's clear So now going forward, so now, uh, so the first one, so, uh, so the demo, uh, the next part is like, one program can be written in multiple ways. So, if I have an, you now for example, I am taking the swapation like. this is one of the interview questions also you might get so how to swap variable values so this is the problem statement so i am having two variables a and b with some values but i want value of b in a and a in b so how you can do that so it's like uh, we are thinking it's very easy program right so it's like the first thing we uh, come into mind is like so if we thought it just uh, uh, it's like uh, if you are transferring of apples into one basket to another basket we have two app like i meant to say three apples in one basket uh, four apples in one basket but we want to transfer it uh, all that uh, four apples into first basket and two apples into second basket but uh, if i want to transfer it uh, we can i can do it manually right uh, normally uh, like uh, by hand i can do it but uh, in programming we can't uh, do directly but there are mil- ways uh, and depending on that so if i have another empty basket first i will transfer this two apples into the third basket so uh, my uh, first basket is empty as of now right so then i transfer this four apples to the first basket like from second basket to first basket and then this uh, whatever the extra basket i have kept i i tra- will transfer this apples again back to this so now what happens in first basket it is 4 now in second basket it is 2 so similar kind of uh, if you take the uh, apple example so here the first solution is so i am just so here i have two uh, i meant to say a and b variables if you consider it as baskets 10 apples 20 apples so as of now i am just printing it out uh so i am just want everything so if i print it out 10 20 right now i want to print the same a and b but i should get 20 10 so how uh, how i will be doing it so i am getting an empty basket maybe third basket called as temp temporary variable i am actually what here i am doing i am transferring all that 10 apples to this basket so as of now the transferring is like uh, i am actually what i am doing i am creating a another variable with the same value so what the value the 10 is there so it, it temporary variables will have also 10 right 
so consider it as a transferring so but here in programming it won't transfer it has same values like 10 10 uh, so now coming back what I am doing I am actually doing uh, uh, for example what happened uh, I emptied a uh, for example uh, just for analogy uh, the empty uh, so I have transferred all the value apples in my first basket and this becomes empty so now what I am doing I am actually transferring all the apples in the second basket to first basket so what I am doing I am giving this value 20 value to A so uh, it is like transferring of apples from second basket to first basket but I have the uh, first basket apples somewhere like here S somewhere in another basket so what I did now the all the apples in uh, basket 2 is transferred to 1 right so all the values are transferred actually what we are doing in programming we are actually assigning it to the A so and then uh, going back now I want B also now what happened uh, we have transferred all the apples in first second basket to first basket now B, B becomes empty but we have third basket where we have transferred the first uh, basket apples right so now what we are doing we are assign we are transferring the third basket apples to the second basket so here what we are doing we are actually assigning it the values back uh, a value to b here so here uh, temp variable is uh, kind of empty extra basket where we will do the transformation of apples so similarly we do the val valuation transfer like value transfer of variables using some extra temporary variable so, so now if I print so it is done right now now all the apples in first basket is transferred to second basket and second basket is transferred to first basket so if I print it so if you see here now the values got changed so I'm printing the same a and b same a and b but the values were swapped this is using extra variable like I mean so so this is one solution so the second solution is like in Pythonic way so this is the most asked uh, interview question how to swap two variables without using extra variable so this is actually in python there is a tuple unpacking uh, we call it as you can just search for this what is tuple unpacking so here what I am doing uh, A and B it's like uh, uh, directly we will do right it's like uh, we take apples from uh, A to B directly and B to A directly there is no uh, need of third basket what I said so if I print the same thing here so I am again printing so if you see so the uh, first step it is like a equal to 10 b equal to 20 so after the swappations without using any third variable it is like direct transfer of apples from a, uh, first basket to second basket second basket to first basket so this is uh, like 2010 I am not, uh, doing nothing like I am not uh, printing b a I am printing if you see it is like print a and b only just 
I swap the values. So uh, it is very easy in Python to swap this uh, values. So this is one way, and we have another uh, two or three more solutions also. So one of them is like using of arithmetic uh, operations. Uh, so I am leaving uh, for you guys to do research. So just check uh, what are the different solutions for swapation of variables in Python. So we, uh, as of now, I know four uh, four solutions. One is like uh, as of now we discussed two, right? There will be another two more. Uh, as of for as per my knowledge, it will be arithmetic and then bitwise. Apart from that, if you got any other solution, do let me know. May tomorrow I will ask for that. Okay. Yes. So you understand the concept, right? So uh, this is the problem yes. statement is same, but thus how we do the coding or how we understand the problem or how we provide the solutions will different. So it depends on uh, different ways we can provide solution, but the end goal should be same. So here the end goal is like to swap the variables. I think that's it for today. Maybe from tomorrow we will be seeing multiple uh, problem statements and how to code it and uh, uh, in that uh, process of uh, doing that uh, we will be doing multiple uh, coding exercises and learning multiple things going forward. So be ready with your GitHub accounts and if uh, python is not installed try to install it and at least if id is not installed at least install notepad plus plus in our machines so that we can write a code in notepad plus plus also easily and you can we can directly run from command prompt if python is installed normal normal python is also fine but try to get it installed on our machines okay then